Next we're going to create lights and what we're going to do is a, is a three-point lighting situation. It's a good opportunity to try different lights. So I have the top view here and I'm going to create the first our first light. I'm going to go to create lights spotlight. Move the light so that it's it's above the camera, pointing at the lamp on the right side of the camera. And we can we can see the light if we go to lighting use all lights or press seven. Maya already gives you this this preview of the light and shadow. We can also go to lighting and click shadows on so we get we get a brief preview of the shadows it won't be exactly how the, the shadows are going to be but it's giving us an idea now spotlight plays it so that it's, it's giving us enough light here so that even when we have our animation so that the lamp doesn't go out of the spotlight in addition to moving the lamp we can also go to the in the channel box go to the different values and for example open the cone angle so that we see the the lamp completely in, in all stages of the animation we're actually going to call that main light and now we see that the light is very contrast we're not seeing anything down here and inside there so we're going to create another lamp which is called fill light create lights directional light and we're going to bring the directional light on the other side of the camera be on the same kind of same height as the as the object itself directional light is a bit like a, like sunlight so it doesn't matter where it is it on, the only thing that matters is the, the direction bring the intensity down fill light is usually half the in intensity of the main light. We're also going to go to the attribute editor and switch off all the shadows because we we only want shadows for the for the main light. Let's render. Let's make our first render. So we're going to select the camera view, hit render, and that's what we got. So now we can see that with the fill light, these areas here are not totally black. Well, we want to add the third light called rim light and it's put behind the target and what we want to get is just a, a rim on either side of the of the target just to bring it out from the from the background. So we are going to create another directional light. And we're going to bring it on the other side, which way it's going to give us just a tiny bit of. And let's go to the render view again. And in the render view, if you want to compare results, you can keep, you can save these frames by pressing this button. Now I press the render button again we got the, the latest updated version you can scroll through the all the key kept images of the saved images so here you can see what the rim light did to us I'm gonna sit I'm gonna keep that image too and the last light we're gonna add is a point light and that's gonna be our our lamps light and go to the perspective view to bring it to the right place. I'm going to select the bulb, go to the attribute editor and render stats. Tick off the, the cast shadows. Let's see. Okay, so we have a light coming from there and I, I want to connect the point light to the lamp's head somehow and I'm going to use constraints for it 
So I'm gonna select, say this joint here, I'm gonna select the point light. I'm gonna go to parent constraint, which is both translate and orient. Just gonna see that it's maintain offset. And now, now our point light should follow the, the lamp. And there we see that we, I forgot to, I forgot to switch off the, the shadows from the ring light. Go to the attribute editor and tick off use, use ray trace shadows. Render that again. And that's what we wanted. Now, just one shadow. Now, our lamp is not working perfectly because the bulb itself is not actually lit. So we're gonna adjust the color. Now we go to the rendering editor's hypershade and find the material on the bulb. If you don't have a material on the bulb, now you have to put it there. We'll look for the value called the incandescence. And this is the self-illuminating value. Let's put the diffuse into 100 as well. And try rendering that, that, that again. Now we got more like a lit bulb. That's all the all the lights set for you. You can adjust these. Say if you want the spotlight to be even even stronger, or if you want the the lamp's own light to be stronger. Like you could go to the point light, go to the attribute editor, and bring the intensity up again. Nice and bright. Now the final thing to do is put a material on our desk. We go to the I appreciate once more. I'm gonna go for a Lambert. Click on the on the new Lambert. And in the color, I won't put any color on, but I'll go to this little box here, which gives me this list. I, I click File. And now I can select an image file. Let's go to Open. Now the material is ready. Select my desk here. And go to assign material to selection. And now if we render it, we have the material on the desk.